Hey, I'm Alexander Vlad, and today I'm going to be demonstrating the comprehensive watermarking features available in Aftershock Pro 3. Watermarking photos not only helps photographers protect their images from unauthorized use, but also helps them promote their work by attaching their logo, branding, or contact info. Now, in Aftershock Pro 3, you can add text to individual photos or batches of photos, and you can easily customize the look by adjusting the size, rotation, position, transparency, and more. Let's get started by creating a text watermark. Here's the new watermark menu. To start, click Enable Watermark and choose a name for your watermark so it can be saved and recalled later. Make sure you are on the Text tab and then type the text you want on your image. You can change the font, color, and formatting of your text watermark, allowing you to play around with styling until you get the look you want. Below, you have two tabs, Basic and Transformation. This is where you'll find the tools to further customize your watermark, like its positioning on your photo and its opacity. When it's perfect, click on Create Preset to use your newly created watermark in batch processing or to apply it to any other image. Now, let's grab a new photo and apply the watermark I just created. Perfect. Done. Creating an image watermark is just as easy. Ensure that your watermark is enabled, name it, and browse for an image that you'd like to use. What's great about the watermarking feature in Aftershot Pro 3 is that it has support for PNG files, so you can make a great looking watermark from an image with a transparent background, like I have here. And here's another tip. If you're familiar with the SVG format, you can opt to use that for your logo as well. Then you can adjust the image using controls in basic and transformation tabs until your watermark is just right. Then, you can reset your watermark work with a simple click of reset. Now, let's save my preset, and then apply it to all of the photos from the shoot I selected. In the preset section within the standard tab of the tools panel, you will find your saved watermark preset. After selecting all of your photos, either using Ctrl or Command A if you're on a Mac, you can apply your preset to the whole batch with just one click. I'm Alexander Vlad, and that concludes comprehensive watermarking for Aftershock Pro 3. I think you'll be amazed at how much time it actually saves you.